Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have another video for you guys. I know I've been promising you this, but here it is. This is my overall thoughts and review for Caligula Effect Overdose. It is actually a very special edition now. It is a platinum edition. So what do I mean by platinum edition? It means I have fully, as you can see here, platinum to the game. I can give you every single ounce of my personal opinion to this game and what it takes to get a platinum. So overall, my opinions really haven't changed from... The start of the, the beginning that my first initial review uh i literally one phased every single boss on hard until the end game i literally beat every single boss one phase and it's pretty depressing when that is the a sad point in your game when every boss is basically neutralized in one turn <laughs> literally most of the dungeons in this game like I, okay let me go from the start so let's go let's look at the overview and everything and if you're wondering what it takes to get platinum, I will have a video about a platinum trophy a little bit later on, guys. But uh, overall, story-wise, the story is very bland. I know they added in new ma magicians, ma I mean, not ma magicians, musicians, and some more go-home go home members, which are your main characters and your enemies that you can play as. To be honest, that storyline felt really good since they're all connected together. But it's the sad thing is that is a side story to the original story of the game, which makes... Me feel a little bit bad because the, the actual main story, the meat of the game, is very poorly done. I felt it's very bland, sa save the world kind of bullcrap, just plain old JRPG, even less than plain old JRPGs. It felt very, very, like, it didn't feel very good to play. The story wasn't compelling whatsoever. Side part is a lot of the stuff they did for the remaster for Overdose. That side story stuff is really good. The the, the connecting stories between A.G. Biosaka, the what's it called, the 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 xenophobic girl, Lily Kuchinashi san and Stork. Those were some really good tales all intermingled with each other, and it made makes you feel like there's something in the end that actually you your choice matters. And if you didn't know, Overdose adds in the, the route to go to play as a musician. You can play as the enemy. So you open up another ending for the game where you, you go with the bad guys instead of beat the bad guys. It is pretty much intel with what you're used to. It's nothing completely new from what you would expect to go on the bad guys team. Nothing really surprises you there. But it opens up more of those side story dialogue options in the game for all your playable characters. And I feel like that's where... Some of the best story making is in the game. And there's a lot of dark stories in those side stories that are very, very good. Like how one of your main characters is like a teen pregnant mom who already has a child. You find that out later how you feel, how you see some people like how, what their problems are in real life and why they became went to Mobius and all that. And some of that all, all those side stories are very, very, very intricate and very, very nice. And they're at the same time very dark. And I like that a lot. So. To be honest, most of the story is very bland, and that kind of moves into my next topic about how the dungeons in this game are poorly designed based around the story. The dungeons are very, very bland. They're very, very long. They're just long corridors full of enemies, and it makes the game so boring to play. It's honestly one of the biggest logs I've ever seen in dungeon design. It's repetitive. It's bland. It sucks. There's literally... It, you, at a certain point in the game, you just want to run past everything because it's so boring. If you're high enough level, you, the enemies won't. You, you when you run run into them, they won't encounter you. You have to forcibly encounter them in order to fight them. Which at that point, it was, it's not even worth it for most of your time to even fight those enemies. So dungeon design is honestly bad. Some of the locales that the dungeons are are pretty cool. It's just it's really really bad. Oh, I lost Wi-Fi connection there. Don't worry about that right now. But uh. Yeah, I mean, like, I love the aquarium, I love the high school, the setting, I love the pyramid, I like a lot of the settings in the dungeons, it just feels really, really, it, the dungeons are just so long and boring, the same same quarters you have to talk to, you have to go through, problem is, a lot, there's some, certain enemies that are locking treasure chests in the dungeons that are way higher level than you, and they're way harder than the bosses, and makes, it makes, when you see one, it's like, what the hell? Half the time. You can beat, definitely beat them, but it's like, what the hell? It feels like these guys are stronger than the bosses. So it feels really, really bad in gameplay design. And the, one of the biggest gripes I have with this game is definitely the friend system. And I'm not talking about the friends that you make as main characters. I mean the friends in the game. There's over 500 friends that you have to make in the game. Technically, you only need 100 of them in order to get 
the friend trophy and you need another hundred or the same hundred friends as true close friends for another trophy but that is a one of the biggest time wasters in this game and honestly one of the most hated 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 systems in this game in my opinion like if that wasn't a system in the game i would have finished this way faster as a platinum trophy but um once again i'll get through my grievances on the trophy system the trophies in this game in my platinum trophy so overall gameplay wise the game isn't great it has a very cool system i just don't think it really works well because like i said i was one phasing bosses on hard mode through the whole game it, it just didn't feel right that i should be able to do that overall i honestly think that you guys should not buy this game i I put my stamp of approval as this is probably one of the worst games I've played all year. And for something that is essentially a remaster of a game, they did not add any of the DLC as free in this game, which really should have been added in there. I didn't feel like the costume DLC shouldn't have not been in there. It really should have. The, the, the costume should be in there. Like, I don't know why they didn't put that in there. But overall, yeah, guys, it is definitely a do not buy. Until the next one.